Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are three, 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 three. I got one. One more, one more. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, welcome back to YouTube channel guys. Thank you so much for checking out this video And let me just say the love on the last couple of videos have been insane You guys have been leaving me the nicest comments you guys have been liking like crazy So from the bottom of my heart man, just I want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support lately So there are some key differences between my settings from last season and this season And there are also settings that I've kept the same So I decided why not go through each of the settings break them down to you and show you guys why I've changed things Why I've kept things the same and just go from there. I am a PC controller player So a lot of these settings are gonna be catered to my myself and how I run on a controller but if you guys are on keyboard and mouse hopefully you guys can take away some of the graphic settings and my audio settings and so forth I just want to know I'll hear you guys loud and clear I know you guys are in love with the live commentary man and king of comms so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have another video coming on how I play solos in season six I had the whole game I did live commentary breaking it down bit by bit during my stream um, if you guys don't know I stream every single day on twitch.tv slash lucky so make sure you guys stop on by there and let me know you guys are coming from YouTube say what's up let's chill let's hang out get to know each other and uh, yeah if you guys like this video make sure you leave a thumbs up leave a comment and uh, yeah peace out hopefully see you guys tonight on Twitch Twitch. Remember, twitch.tv slash Lucky Chamu. All right. Thank you guys so much. Have a good night. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and break into my settings. And these are settings I specifically use for Warzone. Now, I don't play multiplayer too much, but when I do, some of my settings change, like my sensitivity and my audio. But this is specifically for Warzone and specifically for Season 6. So the first category is going to be keyboard and mouse again i'm a controller play so i don't touch any of this so if you guys are i mean i would highly recommend checking out you know youtuber like huskers or symphony could break this down but for me i use a controller let's hop on to general now general one of the biggest changes i have for season six is i am playing at 120 fov and i'm gonna have some game footage at the end of this but 120 fov i realize i feel like i move a lot faster i feel like i'm playing at a faster pace and although i might not look like that on other people's screens i feel like my reaction time to a lot of things has changed for the better and i'm a lot faster and quicker now a lot of people have argued if you go up above 100 fov you lose aim assist and I was one who believed that too. If you go back to my season three or season four videos, I was somebody who agreed with this statement. But kind of breaking it in the last couple days with the 120 FOV, I can't really tell too much of a difference. I've been using the Amex and I've been using the M4 and both of them have been very easy to use with recoil control. So I would say this, I would say go ahead, try it out yourself. I think the biggest thing is to be catering to your eyes and your vision because everything's gonna see a little bit farther back. So if you can adjust that way properly, I think you should be fine with the 120 FOV. So now we're hopping into our graphic settings and currently right now I'm using a 2070 Super on my PC build. I just got my hands on a 3080 so that'll be getting swapped out. But for right now, here's what I'm rocking with my 2070 Super. So the main thing about when it comes to your graphics is getting that best FPS you can possibly get. Now, yes, you can go ahead and make your game look pretty and so forth. And yeah, it'll look visually appealing to you. But if you're not getting a higher FPS and you're actually tanking your FPS just to get those, you know, beautiful colors. In a competitive atmosphere, it's not going to help you whatsoever. What you need to do is make sure you get your highest FPS. So I'll be going through my settings one by one and showing you guys. Most of them are going to be either low or disabled. And the reason for that is, again, getting that higher FPS. And a lot of them are going to be enabled because they have zero effect on it. So scrolling down here, um, we're going to go down to do, 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 here. This category, details and textures. Boom. Texture resolution, very low. Uh, and then we'll go down here. Low, low enabled now bullets and impact sprays and all that stuff it has nothing to do with your fps this is all preference i've used to use it without it uh and i wouldn't see anybody spray paint or anything like that uh, to me, they were just kind of annoying and, you know, visually throwing me off. But now I have it enabled just so I could see, you know, the hearts and the bullets and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, this doesn't really matter. Now going down, disabled, enabled, normal. Um, shadow map resolution. I have that on normal. Um, going down here. These, I think, are default at enabled. Particle uh, lightning. Um, yeah, lighting. Put that on low. Then we're going down, disabled, 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 anti-aliasing, of course, off, uh, debt of field disabled, film strength at one, motion blur, please don't have weapon motion blur, disable that. Um, let's go down here and so forth. We should be good with that. Now, going into our audio, this is what I currently run on my audio. Now, I kind of play with it and it all depends on the headset you have, but I find that boost low is the most overall 
best audio mix you can get now i use uh, boost low and i use it at 20 and because my headset i'm able to kind of adjust the auto with the mix amp built onto my headset i have this very low so i can control it from my headset but depending on what you have and so forth change your master volume accordingly music chalk it i have at zero dialogue i have that at 20 just so i can hear if there's an enemy dropping in or an airstrike or something like that i'm um, going down to effects have that cranked up all the way to 100 you know it's the most important part of the game so make sure you have that juggernaut music enabled i mean now that there's juggernauts in the game i'm probably going to disable that but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter hit marker sound that's all preference i keep that enabled and so forth um voice chat this is just how i talk to people but if you're uh, a little bit um interested in what i have my volume at i have it at 56 and the microphone volume at 100. so now hopping into controller the best part now going down my dead zone at 0 0.05 that's have been stationary since the start of the game and horizontal and vertical 6.6 six. now one of the questions i've been getting a lot of especially on my previous settings is why do you play on 6.6 six? why don't you go higher why don't you go higher you know so you can move faster and so forth yes you will obviously move a lot faster when you're horizontal and vertical or up but are you still able to hit the same shots that you hit are you still able to you know adjust your um shot if you're missing like that now if you just want to turn quickly and stuff like that, then yeah, bump it up all the way. But in Warzone, it's all about making sure you're in the right position at the right time, knowing where to look, and you're centering. Centering is going to be the most important part. Now, if you don't have centering on and you know you miss your centering, then yes, you, you need quick adjustments. Put that uh, at a higher um, vertical and horizontal sensitivity. But if you get your centering down, you don't really need to make these quick left and right turns. Now, going down, um, ADS and... Um, that's going to be all set at one response curve standard a lot of people say why aren't you on dynamic why aren't you on linear standard is just how i feel comfortable playing with um it's something i've kept with since the start of the game um so it's something i'll continue with um controller vibration disabled aim assist standard um weapon mount uh movement exit enabled ads all fours now a lot of these again i'm kind of skipping over just a little bit because these haven't really changed too much um something new th another question i'm getting is how do you slide cancel how do you slide cancel and here the key settings you're going to want slide behavior on tap use reload behavior on contextual tap and then there is an actual another one i believe uh auto tax sprint have that on auto tax sprint. it's easier it's easier for you to move with your controller and for all my controller people it's gonna slow down the wear on your controller your analog sticks aren't gonna be all scuffy as fast you know you'll be able to have put more life onto it um and that should be it. and then parachute auto deploy make sure that's enabled. yeah if you're, you're getting new to it you're probably gonna hit the ground a couple times but at the end of the day you should be fine um but yeah that's it for all my season six settings we're gonna hop on board with the 120 fov gameplay show you guys what i feel is more comfortable for me and a couple shots here and there again tomorrow or the next video that we're gonna be posting out that is gonna be on my um how to win solos uh season six by yourself all fully live commentary so make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on that and if you guys enjoyed this video man i didn't set a like goal in the intro but let's try to shoot for like 150 likes okay appreciate you guys so much and hope you have a beautiful day peace out it's the phase guys bubbles can you message keegan to get his ig look you made it to super uh yeah well i made it to electrical hey bro that's actually the longest fucking bus yeah, he jumped early. I'm just gonna push him. See if we get a, a quick read. Chat! 20 gifted sub train. Oh, what oh, the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Thank you so much, Bubbles. <laughs> Get low. And I shot bodies for you guys. Yeah, and load out, and load out, and load out. Oh. Oh, they're right on me. They're right on me. Bodies, there's a shotgun. You can. Mm. Got one. Nice guy, nice guy. There's one shot. 
Yes, fucking go, bro. Holy shit. Bro, those kids were... No, you should have seen what was happening, bro. Those kids were, like, fucking chasing me around forever. Holy shit. Turn me up, chat. There isn't a dumpster. He's a... You got people on you? Yeah. Hey, bro, that is fucking freaky. Oh, God, I have no plates. Claw? Can you? Yeah, yeah, if you can. I love claw. Where lucky? On the other side of this wall. Okay. I'm feeling it, Chad. I'm fucking feeling it today. I got gossip in my veins right now, and I'm feeling it. Kila booed out of vibes. This gun is kind of a vibe. This is first zone, 70 up.